Hey guys, my name's Wood Hawker and I am here to bring you this week in Launchbox News. There is so much that's happened this week in Launchbox that I get to talk about. There are two, two, of the, two of the biggest things that are happening right now. Arguably the biggest thing is that I have joined the team. And I honestly couldn't be more excited about that. I'm gonna be here bringing you guys weekly news and updates from now on. Huge honor to be part of Launchbox. I've been working with them for a little while now. So to be officially part of the team, I couldn't be more excited. And the second thing is that Launchbox Update 7.5 is coming out this week. In fact, it's probably already out at the time this video is out. So let's go over some of the new features. A new auditing tool has been added to help you manage your games and media. To use it, select a platform in the sidebar and then go to tools and then to audit. And then you did it and that's all you have to do. Honestly, I think this next feature is probably the coolest one this week. Startup videos are now supported in Big Box. You probably saw that really cool intro we had at the start of this video and that was actually made by DM John Zero X and that can be used as a startup video for Big Box as well as a bunch of other videos and here's how to do that. All you have to do is put your video file in the Launchbox videos folder and name it startup.mp4 and it'll load up instead of the splash screen every time. It's really simple and really cool. And here's a tip if the video file you wanna use is a little bit too long, you can actually go into Big Box General Options and change the minimum duration video startup setting. That'll make it so Big Box won't launch before the video file that you wanna use has finished playing, which obviously would be annoying if you wanted to watch the entire video that you put in the so those are the two new features of the update, the two new improvements we've made. I say we, but I literally did nothing of this. I'm just making the video about it. The first improvement, Big Box now remembers the last game you played on every single platform and remembers the last platform you played on. So that's really cool for picking up where you left off if you're trying to play through Earthworm Jim for N64 without having to find it every time it's right there when you load it up. That's actually really handy, I like that. And the last improvement in this update is Big Box performance has been increased while using VLC. We have force disabled the post processing on the VLC videos, whatever that means. And that is it for the 7.5 update. I hope you like the new features and new improvements. Let's move on to some other news this week. We have two new really cool themes for Big Box. This one was made by Feyran. And this next one is honestly my favorite. That classic mini NES that came out that I couldn't find and I still can't find anywhere. No matter where I look, I can't find one. If you have one for sale, please let me know. There's actually a theme made by Gorilla in that style of the classic mini NES. So this is probably the closest I'm gonna come to actually owning anything remotely like the classic mini NES at this point. So make sure you go check out both of these themes and thank you to both Gorilla and Feyran. Moving on, we are having our first Patreon Skype call this week, Friday the 19th at 4 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. I always get my time zones mixed up. I'm gonna be in there, Jason's gonna be in there, a bunch of others are gonna be in there. So make sure you come along if you are a Patreon backer in that tier. And you can also check out the Launchbox Patreon link down below, as well as a link probably here somewhere. I look forward to meeting a lot of you guys and I hope you look forward to the call as well. And I'm pretty sure the final piece of news I have to bring to you guys today is that we're updating Launchbox for MS-DOS to version 1.1. And if you wanna find out more information about that Jason has your back you can click right here and hear Jason's wonderful voice it's actually not a bad voice he makes some really cool songs you guys know he makes songs Jason have you told them that you make songs I'm leaving his link to his music down below that is all from me guys I'm pretty sure I'm trying to think if I've left anything out 
I'll soon find out if I have, I'll be in trouble. Remember to leave comments down below if you have any questions about anything in this video or question in general, we'll reply to you ASAP. You can also send us questions on Twitter and Facebook. Links for all of this will be right here and down below. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you for having me. I'm really excited to be here. And hopefully I will see some of you in that Patreon Skype call very soon. I'll see you guys next time. Thank you.